on James Harden. Let's get straight to it. There's a real possibility that James Harden could be returning to Houston. Houston believes it is a legitimate possibility, and that's not coming out of the thin air. James Harden still spends a lot of time in Houston and spends time uh, in the summer there and uh, usually works out with the Rockets as well. Interesting, interesting. Um, now, do I think James Harden is going to the Rockets? No. <laughs> I don't think it is in his best interest to do that if he wants to win a championship anytime soon. Unless he just wants to go rack up more all-star appearances, which I'm cool with. Go cheese. I would do the same thing, you know? Because, like, I don't know if the Sixers are going to win a championship. Probably not. Definitely not. But, um, yeah, the Rockets are just, like, just so bad. It's like, you know. But who knows? Maybe they give Victor Wembanyama. you know? Jalen Green is Jalen Green. He's just so sexy. You know what I'm saying? He'll find his way. He could probably help Jalen Green out with a lot of things, though. As he could be a good mentor for him, so that could be really good for him. But I think it would also stun his growth on the court because Harden's gonna need the ball. He's gonna want. He's gonna demand the ball from these brothers. But yeah, I don't see it happening though at all. But um, there's been some news around the Rockets that they should fire Stephen Silas and cut Kevin Porter Jr. When you talk about people around the NBA about Houston, you just don't hear good things about their culture. Now Stephen Silas is that that dude is just they gotta cut that, that dude gotta get fired, bro. I'm sorry. He just be playing like the worst dudes. Like, he, bro, like there's no way that Deshaun Nick should just be playing over Ty Ty Washington. I feel like he doesn't let certain people, like the right people, close games at all. The dude doesn't even run plays for Jabari Smith. So it's like, how do you expect him to get better on offensively? Because, you know, obviously Jabari came in with, uh, as a good defender. He needed to improve better on the offensive side of the ball. So it's just like, how do you just expect someone to get better at that? They need like a development coach. And yeah. Just so their players can keep getting better with more and more experience. Like that, uh, that 16 dude, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not going to try. Guru, guru, but some, some like that. He was supposed to be good. That dude, I'd never see him do nothing. He doesn't, he barely plays sometimes, too. I don't know. They, they got to figure that out. Because that, that dude is just, I don't know. <laughs> they got to find someone else, in my opinion. Just someone who will just, like, let all the young guys play. Because, like, realistically, you don't need these other brothers playing, bro. Facts. It's good that the guy rid of Aaron Gordon, though, but I feel like, I don't know. This He just doesn't, I feel like this dude just be throwing things out there and just hoping that they start smacking shots down and, like, playing defense. Like, no, they need, like, a tough coach that will help them develop. That's pretty much it. But, but other than that, I'm going to catch you next one.